pass your permit test. Part one, 50 questions. This car's turn and brake signals have failed, so the driver is using hand gestures instead. What is the driver's intention? Slow down, turn right, increase speed, turn left. Slow down. You are turning a corner. No other cars are around. Do you need to indicate? Meaning, do you still need to use your turn signal? No. Yes, for a minimum of 100 feet if you are driving below 35 miles per hour and 300 feet if you are driving faster. Yes, for at least 300 feet if you are traveling over 35 miles per hour. Yes, for at least 100 feet. Yes, for at least 100 feet. You are turning left into a driveway. What must you do before you proceed? Yield to pedestrians? Yield to traffic? You have a right of way. Proceed with caution. Yield to pedestrians and traffic. Yield to pedestrians and traffic. Car B wants to cross this divided highway. Who has right of way and why? Car A has right of way because it is on a larger road than car B. Car A has the right of way because it is on a larger road than car B. Car B has the right of way because it is on a smaller road than car A. Car B has the right of way because it is on a smaller road than car A. Car B has the right of way because it is to the right of car A. Car B has the right of way because it is to the right of car A. Car B has a right of way because it has arrived at the intersection first. Car A has a right of way because it is on a, a larger road than car, car B. What does this sign mean? There is a 35 degree corner ahead. The minimum speed for this corner is 35 miles per hour. The maximum speed for this corner is 35 miles per hour. The recommended speed for this corner is 35 miles per hour. The recommended speed for this corner is 35 miles per hour. You must come to a complete stop before reaching the school bus, which has stopped for passengers with its red flashing lights. When can you proceed? When the bus resumes motion, when the flashing red lights are switched off, when the driver signals you to pass, any of the above. Any of the above. Two cars arrived at an uncontrolled intersection. Which of the following is true? Car B must yield because it is on car right, car A's right. Car A is to the left of car B and therefore must yield. Car B must yield because it is traveling straight through the intersection. None of the above. Car A is to the left of car B, therefore must yield. Which vehicle is least likely to be visible to the truck driver? None of these cars would be visible to the truck driver. Car C will not be visible to the truck driver. Car B is least likely to be visible to the truck driver. Car A is least likely to be visible to the truck driver. Car B is least likely to be visible to the truck driver. You approach an intersection with a set of traffic signals. The signals are blank. Oh, what should you do? Stop at the intersection as if you have a red light. 
treat the intersection as if it was uncontrolled. Continue through as if you have a green light. Treat the intersection as if there were stop signals all on, in all directions. Treat the intersection as if there were stop signs in all directions. What does this sign mean? The maximum speed limit is 50 miles per hour. The minimum speed limit is 50 miles per hour. The speed limit during the day is 50 miles per hour. The recommended speed limit is 50 miles per hour. The maximum speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Part two. High occupancy vehicle HOV lanes are reserved for emergency vehicles, carpools and vehicles with more than one person, heavy goods vehicles with fewer than three persons, farm machinery vehicles and trucks carpools and vehicles with more than one person. Drivers must use the left lane on a highway for exiting, crossing over, backing up, passing. Passing. High beam headlights should be used at night on unfamiliar roads and in construction areas, whenever there are no oncoming vehicles, where there may be people along the side of the roadway, and all of these instances. In all of these instances, where there are four or more lanes with traffic moving in opposite directions, what do two solid yellow lines mark? The center of the roadway, the individual lanes of travel, the edge of the road, none of the above. The center of the roadway. If a car approaches you with bright headlights, you must blank to prevent being temporarily blinded. Look towards the left edge of the road. Look at the center of the road. Look towards the right edge of the road. Look at the driver of the opposite vehicle. If a car approaches you with bright headlights, you must look towards the right edge of the road to prevent from being temporarily blinded. Before backing up your vehicle, you should look to the front, sides, and rear, and continue to look blank while backing. To the front, to the sides, to the rear, and to the side mirrors. Before backing up your vehicle, you should look to the front, sides, and rear, and continue to look to the rear while backing. A steady red arrow means you should prepare to stop and give the right away to oncoming traffic before you turn. You must stop and you cannot go in the direction of the arrow. You can safely turn in the direction of the arrow. You must come to a full stop and then proceed when it is safe to do so. You must stop and you cannot go in the direction of the arrow. When passing a truck or commercial motor vehicle, the passing automobile driver must watch for the side, rear, and front no zones, the weight of the truck, the large mirrors of the truck, the length of the truck. When passing a truck or commercial motor vehicle, the passing automobile driver must watch for the side, rear, and front no zones. 
if you see a vehicle in your lane coming towards you head on, what should you do? Slow down and sound your horn. Flash your headlights. Veer as far to the right as you safely can. Do all of the above. If you see a vehicle in your lane coming towards you head on, you should do all of the above. Part three. Which of the following statements is not true about blind spots? Larger vehicles have smaller blind spots. The best way to compensate for blind spot is to turn and glance over either shoulder. Don't drive in another person's blind spot. You have two blind spot areas to your left and your right back sides of your car. Which of the following statements is not true about blind spots? Larger vehicles have smaller blind spots. Which of the following actions escalates road rage? Tailgating, blowing the horn, forcing a car off the road, all of the above. Which of the following actions escalates road rage? All of the above. On a four lane divided roadway or a one way road, a solid yellow line usually marks the right edge of the pavement, the center of the roadway, the left edge of the pavement, the end of the roadway. On a four lane divided roadway or a one way road, a solid yellow line usually marks the left edge of the pavement. You must use high beams lightning in all of the following situations, except in construction areas, when there may be people along the side of the road, on unfamiliar roads, in fog, snow, or heavy rain. You must use high beam lightning in all of the following situations, except in fog, snow, or heavy rain. Blank, show parking spaces for persons with disabilities. White pave markings, yellow pavement markings, red pavement markings, blue pavement markings. Blue pavement markings show parking spaces for persons with disabilities. Warning signs are used along the roadway to provide information about direction, distances, and available services. Indicate potentially hazard conditions ahead. Control and regulate traffic. Indicate points of interest in geographical information. Indicate potential hazardous conditions ahead. If you have already started through an intersection, when the signal light changes, you must stop your vehicle, not proceed further, change your direction and make a left or right turn. Follow through and proceed to clear the intersection. If you have already started through an intersection when the signal light changes, you must follow through and proceed to clear the intersection. When approaching an intersection to make a right turn, you must stay blank and make the turn close to the right curve. As close to the right as possible, on the shoulder, as close to the left as possible, in the center lane. When approaching an intersection to the right turn, to make a right turn, you must stay as close to the right as possible and make the turn close to the right curve. Which of the following statements about freeways is not correct? 
enter a freeway smoothly by accelerating on the entrance ramp to match the speed of the traffic. Freeways are designed to handle higher speed traffic safely. While using a freeway, cross a solid line immediately after entering or before exiting. Most freeways have deceleration lanes to assist the driver in exiting. Which of the following statements about a freeway is not correct? While using a freeway, cross a solid line immediately after entering or before exiting. This intersection sign indicates a railroad intersection, a roundabout, a three-way intersection, a four-way intersection. A four-way intersection. Part four. If your vehicle does not have ABS and your brakes fail while driving, which of the following should you do? Shift to lower gears? Look for a safe place to stop. Use the parking brake. All of the above. If your vehicle does not have ABS and your brakes fail while driving, which of the following should you do? All of the above. When passing a large vehicle, do not pull back in front of the vehicle until you can see its headlights in your right side mirror, driver in your left side mirror, headlights in your left side mirror, Headlights in your inside rear view mirror. When passing a large vehicle, do not pull back in front of the vehicle until you can see its headlights in your inside rear view mirror. At a stop sign, when are you waiting to turn right and a vehicle approaches from the left has its turn signal on you must turn on your headlights quickly. Wait until the other driver actually starts to turn and then start to turn. Proceed with the turn as you are certain the other driver is turning. Press the accelerator immediately. At a stop sign, when you are waiting to turn right, in a vehicle approaching from the left has its turn signal on, you must wait until the other driver actually starts to turn and then start your turn. Which of the following is not a safe situation for passing? When pavement markings are broken yellow lines, when moving through an intersection, when pavement marks, markings are broken white lines, when the vehicle ahead is moving below the safe speed. Which of the following is not a safe situation for passing? When moving through an intersection. What does this sign mean? Road close ahead due to abandoned crossing. Road crossing ahead Railroad repair work ahead. No traffic is allowed through this crossing. What does this sign mean? Railroad crossing ahead. You are more likely to survive in the event of a car crash if you use blank together. The lap and shoulder belts the shoulder belt and emergency lights, the lap belt and a helmet, none of these. You are more likely to survive in the event of a crash if you use the lap and shoulder belts together. What does this warning sign indicate? No right turn, sharp turn to the right, curve to the right, traffic merging from the right. 
What does this warning sign indicate? Sharp turn to the right. Blank are the most likely places for car and motorcycle collisions to occur. Roundabouts, intersections, one-way roads, expressways. Intersections are the most likely places for a car and motorcycle collisions to occur. When driving on gravel or dirt, you must slow down because your tri tires get more grip on dirt roads. The dirt may cover the windshield. You do not have much traction. It is unpleasant to drive fast. You do not have much traction. When driving on gravel or dirt, you must slow down because you do not have much traction. If there are three or more lanes going in the same direction on a highway, the blank are usually the smoothest in turns of the flow of traffic. The middle lanes, left lanes, accelerating lanes, right lanes. If there are three or more lanes going in the same direction on a highway, the middle lanes are usually the smoothest in terms of the flow of traffic. Part five. The best way to handle a curve is to gradually increase your speed before entering the curve. Begin to turn your vehicle just prior to the curve and quickly increase your speed. Slow down before entering the curve. Stay on your side of the road and drive as far to the left as possible. The best way to handle a curve is to slow down before entering the curve. To avoid collisions on the road, you must try to stay to the left side of your lane while driving. Try to follow other vehicles closely. Try to keep a space cushion. Change lanes frequently. To avoid collision on the road, you must try to keep a space cushion. If you double your speeds on a highway, your braking distance increases by three times, four times, two times, five times. If you double your speed on a highway, your braking distance increases by four times. If an emergency vehicle is approaching you with a siren or flashing lights on, you are required to pull over to the right edge of the road, stop immediately wherever you are, continue at the same speed, increase your speed and clear the lane. Pull over to the right edge of the road. What does this intersection sign mean? A chevron at a railroad crossing, an intersection for crossroads, a side road at a railroad crossing, a T-junction of a highway. What does this intersection sign mean? A side road at a railroad crossing. Vertical rectangular signs with black letters on a white background are used as warning signs, guide signs, regulatory signs, instruction signs. Vertical rectangular signs with black letters on a white background are used as 
regulatory signs. Blank lines mean that passing is not allowed in either direction. A broken white line, a solid double yellow, a broken yellow, one broken and one solid yellow. A solid double yellow line means that passing is not allowed in either direction. When you reach a marked or unmarked crossing, you must yield and watch for When you reach a marked or unmarked crossing, you must yield and watch for pedestrians. Blank may be used in work zones in both day and night to guide drivers in certain traffic lanes. Barricades, flag person, railroad warning signs, large flashing or sequencing arrow panels. Large flashing or sequencing arrow panels may be used in work zones in both day and night to guide drivers in certain traffic lanes. Shared center lanes that are marked on each side by a solid yellow and dashed yellow lines are reserved for blank and can be used by vehicles traveling in either direction. Making left turns, making right turns, making U-turns, passing. Shared center lanes that are marked on each side by a solid yellow and dash yellow lines are reserved for making left turns and can be used by vehicles traveling and in either direction.